Hey folks, this video is going to be about how to help your weapons work in conjunction with your soul cores. So this is, truth be told, going to be a little tricky for me to talk about. Not so much because of the material itself, but simply because look how many soul cores we've got. Actually, it's better if I go to a shrine. But simply because we have a lot of soul cores to work with in this game alongside all sorts of different weapons. So just being able to say work with all of these individually and try to have like a one-size-fits-all approach is going to be fairly difficult but i want to help you at the very least brainstorm certain ideas that you can have with these soul cores so that you can kick certain butt and that is of course going to be something that this guide's going to cover and so for this purposes i'm actually using uh, the hatchets and I will also be using an axe and I will be switching in between my guardian spirits because I do have six different soul cores I'm working with so just as a brief review I'm using Magatsu warrior I'm using aberrant soldier soul core which I know I've talked about in earlier lessons um, Ipon Datara is of course one of my favorites for a variety of reasons and then on my secondary guardian spirit I have Ong Yoki and I've got Deidara Bochi which is a boss core and then Underworld Soldier. So let me, before I showcase how to really work, or how I like to work in my weapon play with my Soul Core play, let me just kind of try to guide you as to what I'm thinking about when I'm using each of these. So for me, and let me actually uh, get, excuse me, just get rid of my controllers just so you can see the Soul Cores a little bit more in depth. So going through my soul cores, Magatsu Warrior is pretty much just a massive pressure play. As you've seen perhaps in other videos, you can activate it twice if you have 9 anima and you can get a ton of extra hits and it's particularly effective in close range. And I think I've stated this in one of my like super early guides, one of my like multiple tips to style or something, where I use this in conjunction with my uh, life recovery on Amrita Absorption, which is right here. And then I pair that with, uh, let me see where we got it. I pair that with Extraction Talisman and I can just refill my life pretty quickly. So it's, it's a multi-purpose and that is really valuable. So I get a ton of life back, I do a ton of pressure, and of course during the long animation I regenerate a ton of key, which is awesome. Uh, with Aberrant Soldier, uh, what's really nice about this specific soul core is that anima bonus timely guard i find to be very very useful so you'll see me most of the time uh, defaulting to phantom uh, guardian spirit one because it's easier to burst counter stuff uh, without having to switch from my secondary spirit back to phantom um, especially for like the scenarios in which i need to burst counter right away but anima bonus timely guard is super awesome especially if i'm playing weapons that have an ability that function off of that and of course I've got a Yatamir which helps too, so it's just like it does a lot of multiple things. It does a lot of things at once. I don't know why I said a lot of multiple things. But the actual ability itself, I've talked about it before, I use it as my de facto cancel core and with input buffering it just feels like a seamless transition. Uh, Ipon serves many different functions aside from just staggering. One, it's quick. That is really nice. Uh, for me, on this specific core, you can see my Anima Charge Bonus, Amrita Gauge AA. It's really good, and I recommend you get that on at least uh, one of your cores um, if you can. But aside from that, uh, this, for whatever reason, has a hidden property, uh, like many other cores, of being able to effectively nullify grabs, which is pretty cool. Um, it is a bit on the expensive side instead of soul core you in, in terms of soul core anima use so i do have to sometimes pay attention to when i'm using it but yeah many people like to spam it in any case the you might be more interested to see what's going on with my secondary guardian spirit instead the so daedra as i showcased with the saito toshimitsu video i used it to help set things up so daedra is going to do a hit it'll hit multiple targets which is obvious given that it circles but what's really valuable about it, it's basically you're queuing up an ability and so you can queue up other abilities from your weapons to have them sync together, which is how I was able to take advantage of all sorts of many things. And just given the nature of that freaking laser beam, sorry, disco ball laser beam, it just, it can hit targets from an angle they least expect. So that really helps set things up. Underworld Soldier, I really enjoy. 
It's a multi-purpose in my mind. Ultimately, the biggest thing is that it can grapple enemies against human bosses. They have to be at no key, so maybe you'd prefer to do something else. But I actually prefer it when it doesn't grapple and instead does two hits. So I can use this as a gap closer. The target's really far away. I'm low on key, but I got the anima. Well, hey, throw this out, get my key back, get some hits in, and it feels pretty sick, especially if it's a, the two-hit version where one is just I'm charging, and then the second hit is like an AoE sweep. It's really cool. And last but not least, Ongyoki. Uh, this is actually the one I have been considering swapping out, but it's quick corruption application and pocket smoke bomb, so I like it. It's pretty cool. But when I am evaluating each of these in terms of weapon synergies, I'm thinking of, hey, if I use these soul cores, what could I follow up with afterwards? Or if I do an ability into a soul core, what works best? So Aberrant Soldier, again, the ability to quick cancel things is super valuable, but now I'll kind of show you what also helps. Uh, actually, before I engage, one thing I, I wanted to mention, and I know I've mentioned this in a super early video, but in case you didn't watch uh, one of my earlier Neo2 Academy things, you may wonder how do I transition between Guardian Spirits so fluidly without having the whole lock on business. And when's an easy time to do it in the first place? Because there's already like a million things going on and you don't necessarily expect DMC level inputs. So my advice would be to switch your Guardian Spirits um, whenever you're stuck in some sort of animation. So I'll showcase that. Um, just, I'll showcase that, but the reason why I would advise that is because it's much easier to execute switching your guardian spirits when say you're using a soul core and there's like nothing else you can do. So you have that downtime as opposed to like, all right, let me attack and, and then try to change my soul cores and, and guardian spirits and I just, yeah, everything gets screwed up. So I'll kind of showcase it to you, kind of slower example, so you can kind of work with it. All right, let's go. Axe pressure. Wee wee. Yep. Okay, let's go back in, go back out. All right. During that animation, I could have swapped my guardian spirits. I did it even right there. During a soul core animation, swap my guardian spirits. Let's go, buddy. Very nice. All right, let's set things up. And eventually, with the knowledge I've talked about before, it'll get a lot easier. And then you can murder your targets. I know I did that rather quickly, but again, the thing is, when you're, say, stuck in an animation, you can swap your guardian spirits without having to worry about any wonkiness whatsoever. See that? So I'll even do that uh, while I'm using soul cores. So let me show you an example. I'll just do a quick Magatsu warrior engage. Swap my guardian spirits. Look how many times I can do that. So try that on out. It'll make it a lot easier. Pretty cool, huh? can swap my guardian spirits during this entire animation. Super helpful. So that's that's how I like to transition in between uh, using the guardian spirits. It's simply whenever I perceive downtime. Not when I'm like, I don't try to do rapid interactions back to back to back. That's just too crazy. And frankly, I've, I think I'm getting older now in which I don't really want to do that. So instead, I find that it is a lot easier to just do it, do the stance switch, whatever crap during animation. All right, what do we got? Ooh, you dodged away, huh? Let's set things up while animations are going. Oh, I whiffed, that's okay. Oh, I forgot I have that. <laughs> I didn't realize I had Sacred Bird Cry on. Switch my Guardian Spirits, right? Pretty neat. I can swap them now. I think I made that point clear, right? Cool. Those enemies, though, are pretty on the easier side, anyway. Truth be told, I, I like to set a lot of things up with soul cores. 
and you'll see me do that. But it's really just mixing and matching all these different elements together so that I can, you know, kick butt. That's pretty much all I'm trying to do. Set things up together. And there is, as I mentioned in other videos, a rhythm that I'm trying to establish. That I prize more than anything. And once I've established a sort of rhythm, I'm in good shape. Alright, see that? He's gonna lose his key. In perfect sync for that rumbling earth. That's cool, right? And so you can do this type of thinking, you can employ this type of thinking for all sorts of soul cores. Um, maybe the rhythm won't be exactly the same as mine, but you'll figure out that sweet spot for yourself. Right, let's try it again against this guy. So this time, let's do a long range engage. Do that. Oh, I didn't work as well as I hoped. All right, so I got to reestablish my rhythm. Axe flash attack. Oh, what's up, man? Go, oh, they there out. Do your thing. Oh, I didn't work as well as I'd hoped. That's okay. Eventually, it's just you know, it's just gonna be trial and error, and you'll kind of get used to that over time. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Rhythm not established. Let's go. All right, let's go. What do we got? Start in. Engage. Give me a little breather. All right, let's set stuff up. And bonk. Yeah, as you get comfortable establishing the rhythm, which it, it it's you can set things up in a crazy fashion. A little brainstorming goes a long way. Of course, this requires a deep knowledge of the weapons that we talked about, uh, and of course, knowing when to use the two of them together. But in all honesty, I just switch between my weapons when I just like feel like it, or I think I can set something up pretty safely. So like, I whiff that there, which sucks. So then, all right, I gotta reestablish the rhythm. Cool. And it's pretty fun. Nice job. Nice job! Complete whiff. Okay. Yeah. That sucks, doesn't it? Alright, alright. Chalk it up as a loss. But oh well, target is still dead. Still very much dead. Ah, uh, crap. Let's go! Oh, I missed. Okay. Let's do the hatchet things. Whoops. What's going on? Oh no, rhythm not established. All right, let's get that axe flash attack going. Nice. Very nice. No. Oh, come on. This is why I needed sacred. I'm so used to sacred bird flight instead. So yeah, you'll get in the habit of swapping in between guardian spirits when you're in when you're in certain animations. So I really wouldn't worry about that too much. It'll be fine. What's up, man? All right, let's go. Oh no, rhythm not established. Let's retry. Let's go. And then, of course, as you get comfortable, you can introduce the Yokai Shift to make that sense of rhythm even more bonanzas. Smash these enemies to bits. So it's just you're going to start to slowly add in little layers. And so you, that you can really get a feel for some pretty kick-ass combat. Of course, if you decide to go the route of item cancels and stuff like that, that's just yet another layer. But it's just important to understand when you've got downtime, so you don't that you can establish your rhythm by changing the stuff as you need to without getting overwhelmed. And that is, truth be told, just going to take some practice. 
Alright, where's that other freaking Gaki? Alright, what do we got? He's gonna do the paralysis thing. So you're gonna die. Yeah, Alright, now you're dead. Thank you for your soul core. I still don't like you. Alright, we got things. Go Dezera, kill all the things. Kill all the things, because I don't want to fight you. Hey you. Do a thing. Thank you. Alright, now we got another thing to kill, so... Establish that rhythm. Oh shoot! Oh! Oh! Oh. Oh, he's super dead. <laughs> okay. Well, he died a little too quickly. My item box is full. Crap. I gotta get rid of some stuff. Uh, yeah, let's we'll get rid of all that stuff. I don't care a single bit. Get out of here. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll showcase that again in a different mission, filled more with yokai than with human enemies. Just to illustrate the value of switching different things during fixed animations in which you can't do anything anyway. So taking advantage of those little bits of downtime will allow you to go into whatever your next sort of combat phase is going to be. Because I cannot stress the importance of rhythm enough. And yeah, I don't care about any of these. Let's see, do I got a short mission? Nope. Uh, what's a yokai heavy mission? That is reasonable for the time investment. Uh, I don't think I want to do Wave of Ruin. Why is this tricky? Probably just do something in the Awakening region. Search? Fun. Good work. So I wouldn't prefer that one. Forest Veiled in Darkness, it's a bunch of bandits, dark omens. No. Ah, I guess I'll just do the search. It's a search, right? Not a voice. Uh, okay, I think, all right, we'll do the search. I'll use different weapons this time. Okay, I'll do spear and let's say spear switch glaive. Why not? So again, I'm using the same cores, but this idea is going to apply to any soul core, any weapon setup, regardless. You got to think of, you got to brainstorm how your abilities can work, and then whatever deficits or things you may want to add to it. Sorry, whatever de deficits you may perceive that you may want to override, whether that be an animation time. You can use a soul core to bridge the gap. So right now I need to generate anima. All right. Gaki. Really? Frick out of here. All right, so those Gaki are dealt with. Okay, what do we got? I got a Gaki over there. But yeah, it's... Let's see if I, I gotta get an, uh, an enemy I can work with. Gaki are not exactly an enemy that you really need to be too concerned about. Alright, good for me. Alright, we got an Ipon over here. Let's see what it's gonna do. Alright, let's go in. Can I deplete its key? I'm not sure about it, so I'll use Z-Bone instead. Alright, let's see how Divine Retribution works. I'll use Zone Gyoki because I was concerned. Very nice. I did not need to use Z-Bone there. All right, right after this, let's go Mogatsu for extra pressure. You see how I kind of like just used the soul cores as extensions of moves? 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. Let's try it again against this enemy. All right, let's set it up. Oh, oh, very nice. No, 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 no. All right, let's see if I can hop over this enemy. The answer is yes. Switch my guardian spirits. Get that kill. Very nice. So I was using my familiarity with how Nuriona works to take advantage of certain things. And again, that is just going to come down to experience. All right, what do we got here? Oh, oh, and I've been paralyzed. This is awkward. Here, take a focus retribution, buddy. All right, well, let's see what else I got. I'll show, I try to showcase some spear stuff now. All right, first I gotta kill the Gawkies, right? Really? That's one Gawkie down. Two Gawkies down. All right, I, yeah, I'll leave those in there. Dude, you're just gonna get the hammer, dude. Nice! I whiffed it. Wasn't that amazing? Okay. The loud supply spear stuff. That didn't work. I should have canceled it, but that's okay. And I'm low on key. Help me set things up. See how I'm using just telltale animations to assist me? Come on. Using animation downtime. Animation downtime. I don't know what to call it. Just anytime I'm locked in an animation, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. I am going to use soul cores to help prepare me for things. Oh, that wasn't the cleanest, but it still worked pretty well. I'm not actually going to complete the mission. I'm just going to kill the things. All right, let's go. Go. Very nice, right? Woo-wee! All right, let's go. Use the soul core. Help make things feel a little better. Oh shit! Oh crap! Ah. Okay, okay. That's all right. Reestablish rhythm. Let's go. Let's go. What's going on? Ow, my face. Shoot, I'm totally dead, aren't I? Oh, I'm lucky! Thank you, burst attacks! <laughs> In any case, that, that, that was pretty that was pretty lucky. I'm not even gonna lie. That was straight up pretty lucky. Let's see what else I can get away with before I finish this video. But you'll get, I, I cannot stress the importance of just taking that time to get yourself in the zone. The whole rhythm thing, it's so damn important. Alright, what do we got? It feels pretty cool when you can sync them all up. Provided Agaki isn't interrupting me. This is why they all gotta die. Got more coming up here? Alright, here's what they get. Aw, oh, come on. Backed away, you jerk. But yeah, just gonna take you some practice to see how you can mix in your soul cores with your normal weapon play. Alright, what do we got? Nuriona again? Nope, I'm gonna set things up on my level, man. Very nice. Alright, I know the wake up attack 
will not hit me if I use Epon. Oh, target's dead anyway before I could waste her. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Alright. Forget what other enemies there are. Oh, not over here. Let's go back here. There's so many Gaki in this level. Well, at least I got the kill on it. Alright, what do we got? We got another Enki. Alright, what do we got? Alright, my rhythm's been established. So I can do whatever the heck I like. Shut you down in advance. And you're super dead. Didn't even stand a chance. Alright, I believe there's what, an Epon again? Oh, I was in the wrong Guardian Spirit that time. Okay, I can't tell what's going on. Let's perhaps move to a safer spot. Alright, so half on key. Burst attack. Let's use a Yokai ability. Keep the pressure going. Alright, let's set things up. What do we got? Alright, that's okay. And let's just finish that off with Yokai Shift. As a reminder, you can use Yokai Shift to cancel out of like literally anything if you have it available. Pretty neat, huh? It's really cool when things line up exactly the way you'd like them to. And again, that just really takes practice, so... Practice your soul cores, look for sort of interesting ways you can incorporate them with your weapons, and you'll have a fun time. I think this is actually the last enemy I pretty much need to kill. I don't think there's... Oh, there probably is like one or two, but I don't really care about it. We'll just have this one be the last. Alright, let's let him regenerate the key that he so desperately desires, and let's try this again. Alright, first engage, my turn. See if I can break that horn. And the answer is yes. Alright, I think he's gonna do a certain attack that'll throw me off. Oh! Alright, let's reestablish my rhythm. See what I can do now. Do soul core stuff, do cool abilities at the same time. Alright, what you doing? I know you're gonna do an attack. Oh, you are. Oops. Cancel that. Alright, let's go back to Spear, because I feel like it. Alright, what you doing? One, two, and then a third, right? Yep. See if I can deplete it without dying! Alright. I got a little lucky there, and my rhythm wasn't the best. But I still prevailed. And Yokai Shift basically put me back to full health, so I'm in good shape. So hopefully that was informative. Uh, this was a bit more of a casual sort of lesson, but I still hope that it was valuable nonetheless for you to really understand how important it is to develop a rhythm and and more and not just that, but just seeing how you can actually do it. Speaking of which, I'm curious what soul cords I just picked up. Any cool ones? Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. That's decent, but I don't care. Nope. 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 And no. All right. Goodbye. But yeah, make sure you develop the rhythm and things that can help are simply using locked animation times to change your guardian spirits, all right? That can be super helpful. And then using that locked animation time to brainstorm what you can do for your next step so you can keep things going one after the other to kick some butt. Wouldn't you agree, Tokichiro? Yeah. You don't? Y you don't? How do you not agree, man? How do you not agree? Uh, how? I, I don't understand. Fine. What about you? Do you agree? You're having a different conversation. <laughs> anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.